Good morning. It is morning in Muskoka and it is absolutely gorgeous this morning. I wanted to talk to you for a minute about the art of doing nothing is so important. There are so many times in our lives where we're dealing with kids, right? If you have kids or you're at work, you only have so much time in the morning before work, so much time in the evening after work, or you just spend a lot of time, as we sometimes do, scrolling or listening to something on your way to work or whatever, but how much time do you actually spend in silence? Because silence is where we get that inspired action, intuitive calling. I talk about the reality and science behind manifestation, law of attraction, right? But it's really quantum physics. It's the laws of frequency and it affects us every day, all day, much like the law of gravity. We can't see it, hear it, taste it, smell it, touch it, but it's there and it's affecting us whether we realize it or not. And the idea behind this is if we match a certain frequency of whatever we want to experience in our lives, this will come about in our lives. Matching the frequency I've talked about in previous posts, but it's really about adopting the emotional state of as if whatever you wanted was happening in present time right now in the current moment in your life. You do that, you match the frequency because the frequency is the emotional experience you'd have if you had said thing. The end product of any experience of having whatever you're wanting is an emotion. So it's not about what we think we want, it's the why. And when you match that, manifestations don't just come into our lives like hitting us in the face or falling into our laps, but they come via inspired action. These are intuitive ideas, thoughts, aha moments, things that come into your mind to do. It's a thought you wouldn't have thought before. It's something to do you wouldn't have done before things like that, but this happens in quiet moments and we often don't give ourselves those quiet moments and we don't need to come out to a beautiful place like this to do that. We can give ourselves these moments anytime, all the time. So take split second moments if that's all the time that you have. Create space, drop into the present moment and in any moment of your life, you can drop into the present moment and just sit in the present moment. Our brains are always thinking of the familiar past or predictable future that doesn't even exist. The past no longer exists. The future isn't here yet. All there is is right now. So any time that you can just pull yourself into the now, it's huge and it helps so much. Do it while you're driving. Do this no matter when, no matter what you're doing. You could be doing chores, doesn't matter but can you drop into the present moment and start to feel the emotions you'd feel if whatever you're wanting was true for you in your life right then? Usually the emotions of relief and gratitude will take you pretty far. But I wanted to show you a book I brought with me. It is another one of my absolute favorite book. It has changed so many lives, including my own, and it's called The Surrender Experiment by Michael A. Singer. He's the author of The Untethered Soul, and this book is about surrendering to the flow of life. We're constantly trying to make things happen in our lives. We're thinking of how can we make this happen? How can we make that happen? The how is never any of our business. It's really not. How comes to us via inspired action during silent, quiet moments when we're in the here and now. But anyway, this book will tell you what happens when we do surrender to life's flow. We match the frequency, even when it seems like it makes no sense. One reason we never pay attention to inspired action is because it often seems like it doesn't have anything to do with what we're really wanting to create, right? But that's what I mean about how the how is not our business. The universe will figure out the how. We don't need to do that. Match the emotion you would have. Enjoy everything. There are great teachers out there that talk about just acting on your highest excitement every day and not in an unrealistic way. I know people will think, okay, well, I guess do I just quit my job or whatnot? No, it's not about that, but just acting where possible on your highest excitement every single day and you would be shocked at what shows up. So I really recommend this read. It is a great read. I am thoroughly enjoying it and I know I'm gonna read it again once I'm done. And I hope you have an awesome day, whatever day it is for you when you're watching this. We're